in the body, cells that perform the same activity group together to perform certain functions. These cells are called tissues. In the body of animals, there are different types of tissues. Epithelial tissues can be found in skin and the walls of digestive, respiratory, and kidney tubes. Some may function for excretion and secretion. Muscular tissues are made up of muscle cells which contract and relax, thus cause the body movement. If the muscle's movement can be controlled at will, it is classified as voluntary, like stretching of arms. Otherwise, it is called involuntary, like eye blinking. Connective tissue is made up of many different types of cells that are involved in structure and support of the body. Bone, blood, fat, and cartilage are all connective tissues. Connective tissues can be dense, as bone cells are, or loose as adipose tissue or fat cells are. Nervous tissue is made up of nerve cells or neurons that are responsible for the generation and conduction of impulses. Sensory neurons receive impulses from organs and carry them to the central nervous system, or CNS. Motor neurons carry impulses away from the CNS to the muscle tissues and gland. Associative neurons or interneurons are located in the CNS and connect sensory to motor neurons. A collection of tissues grouped together performing common function is called an organ. For example, a small intestine is an animal organ that is composed of smooth muscles, blood vessels, and nervous tissues working together to digest food. An organ system is a higher level of organization that consists of functionally related organs. Examples of organ systems in an animal include skeletal, nervous, and reproductive systems. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next lesson.